Good morning children. Today is the first Friday of January. So we will be having a science experiment. And today's science, science experiment is about air pressure. Okay. You know air pressure can actually pressure is something which you can put on something like for example I can exert pressure on this chowki and the chowki starts moving okay now pressure can be used for things to hold it to be held in its place also for example I have a ping pong ball in my hand this is not a ping pong ball it's just a plastic ball but you can use a ping pong ball if you have it because the exercise is called floating ping pong balls okay now when I throw this up it is coming down is it not if I throw it it's coming down and it will roll away is it not okay now how can I have it suspended in the air like that suspended means how can it just stand floating in the air like that is it possible if I drop it what will happen it's going to fall is it not but there is a way you can make it float in the air and that is the experiment we are going to do and how do you make it float we are going to make use of air to help it float now from where can I get air air is everywhere right that same air only I'm going to use that air I'm going to use but this is going to float so for me for getting that air a little more force I need that air I'm going to give little more force for that air so I am going to use a hair dryer you know what's a hair dryer some of you may be having it at home where when you have wet hair your mom may be using it for drying the hair okay if not this at least you might have a vacuum cleaner from which the air comes out the vacuum cleaner is best because it has more power because certain basic models of hair dryers have little power only so you can make it float only up to this level if you have a vacuum cleaner it can be flying here okay shall we try how we can make it float come so now this activity involves electricity so I want this experiment to be done with parental supervision okay your parents must be around to help you to switch it on and off okay the ball how you handle it that part you can do you can hold and put the ball yourself the remaining things they'll have to do so if it is uh, vacuum cleaner means once it is on the air will be there you can try how high it can go if it is going to be the um, hair dryer means there will be a switch on this that also you will have to switch on apart from this switch here for example I'll switch it on here do you hear it okay now let's see what happens to our ball do you see it floating see I'm moving at the ball the ball is also moving along with me is it falling out wherever I'm moving my uh, hair dryer the ball is also moving along with me see that so it's floating up in the air I'm trying to bounce it you see that that is this month's science experiment trying to float a ping pong ball did you all enjoy it do you want to try it please try it try it either with a hair dryer or with a vacuum cleaner now you saw me that when I was moving the hair dryer like this trying to bounce the ball the ball was able to bounce in the air and stay floated also how is it able to stay floated because of air pressure the word that you're learning today is air pressure okay the pressure exerted on that ball is helping that ball stay there okay there is more terms like low pressure around it all those things but that we don't need to know you just know that you can float the air you can float the ball in the air if there is a good pressure you can exert on it okay try it and see sometimes if you have a very powerful uh, hair dryer or uh, even a, a vacuum cleaner is enough try and see like say if you're holding the hair dryer in your hand and the ball is flo uh, the it's floating in the air 
if there is this much of space in between try to interrupt it with a pencil or with a scale like this in between still it will not fall do you know that you keep doing like this in between still it may not fall it may come down a little bit and then go back again okay when when something comes between the ball and the uh, hair dryer that is like stopping that air movement just disturbing the air movement the that very second the ball may come down and again it will go up okay so you will see how that force of air is working on that ball to ke keep it afloat seriya you try both one is trying to bounce it to see that it is bouncing and it's just floating back again and second one try to interrupt that air okay that forceful air that you send try to interrupt and see whether the ball is able to stay or is it falling out now for the interruption part you need a very powerful hair dryer or a vacuum cleaner any vacuum cleaner is enough for that vacuum cleaner your ball may be here it may be floating here okay will you all try it okay children there is no worksheet for you for this particular uh, uh, exercise i have not sent it to you you it's enough that you try this and see how it works out for you i'm sure you'll all enjoy it okay see you all in another video until then bye bye